Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Julianne and today's video is going to be a whole house speed clean and then I'm going to have some laundry motivation for you at the end of this video. If you have some cleaning you need to get done, let's go ahead and tackle it together. So first we are starting out in the kitchen and make sure you guys stay throughout the whole entire video because I will be answering some of the questions that you guys left for me in my Q&A post. If you guys missed that post, go ahead and leave me a question down in the description box below and I will get to that in a later video for you guys. So the first question I will be starting with was what do you dislike most when it comes to cleaning and definitely laundry. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that I just dread doing laundry. But if we're just talking about actual cleaning, the fact that I clean my house and it does not stay clean drives me insane. But I know that that is just how it is when you have little ones, nothing lasts in your house being clean for a very long time. I mean, literally, I do these whole house cleans and probably by the end of the night or into the next day, my house is already completely just ruined. And here I'm using the Dawn Power Wash to wash some dishes and that's what I'll also be using to clean my sink with. And I am loving this product right now. Another question is, what are your family's go-to favorite meals? And we are pretty simple around here. I am not like the best cook ever. I personally just like to eat like chicken and vegetables, rice and quinoa. Um, we also make a lot of tacos and pasta. So now that I am watching this clip, it is so satisfying seeing the bubbles all over my stovetop. Let me know in the comments, do you guys find it satisfying also when people clean their stovetops and there's just bubbles and cleaner all over and you can just see, you know, the marks and they're getting it nice and clean. So the next question is any budget tips and if you guys have been here from the beginning or watched any of my old videos, you know that I had started out making some budget tip videos and when I started YouTube, I thought that that was the kind of route that I was going to go with, um, but I quickly 
notice that those videos just did not do very well on my channel and that cleaning videos did much better than any videos that I tried to make but I love talking about budget tips and I know that that's kind of funny because I feel like you guys see me decorating my house and doing all kinds of different things but that is one way that my husband and I have been able to afford the house that we have and the lifestyle that we live. In other areas, we are very frugal. We do not eat out a ton. Since starting YouTube, we definitely do eat out more than I like to. But also, keeping your grocery bill super low and not eating out is the best place to start. Also, buying um, like your kids' clothes on clearance. This is a huge thing that I do. I typically buy their clothes on clearance at the end of the season for the next year or buying their clothes secondhand because you can find kids clothes very gently used and in great quality secondhand. Um, I mean, I have so many tips. Just meal planning is huge. That is just my number one thing. If you guys are struggling to um, budget, definitely look at your food areas because I feel like when we were in a lot of like crazy debt, we were blowing so much money at the grocery store. And on top of that, we were eating out like multiple times a week. So definitely, definitely check those areas and just having a budget in place is a huge thing. I feel like a lot of people do not budget and you have no idea how much you are spending. So the next question, what made you create a YouTube channel and are there any times where I have felt like quitting? Um, I don't really know how I started out with a YouTube channel. I started with TikTok and then I was like, well, these videos are pretty easy to make. So maybe making like a 10 minute video wouldn't be that hard. So then I just looked into it. I did a ton of research on how to create a YouTube channel, how to make a video, how to edit a video. And then I decided it was like the beginning of quarantine and I had a bunch of projects that I had been putting off in my house and I figured that that would be a good place to start. And like I said before, I also wanted to talk about how my husband and I got out of our debt and I figured that a lot of people would enjoy that and I wanted to help other people. But I feel like maybe if I would have started a YouTube channel when we were in the process of paying off our debt, I think it would have done a little bit better. Um, but then on to the second question, have I felt like quitting? There hasn't been a time where I have just been like, I don't want to do YouTube at all anymore, but there have been plenty of times where I struggle to get two videos out a week. It's very hard for me, especially with having um, two pretty small children, four and one years old, and then I have my seven-year-old who's in school and we have a lot of schoolwork to do. Plus on top of that, we have activities that we do outside of school. Um, so definitely there have been times where I have just, um, I have felt very stressed out trying to get out a second video and I also feel like I could probably get one very good quality video out versus two videos that sometimes I feel like are just okay but if you are a small youtuber or a youtuber at all you know that it is very beneficial to get two videos out a week and it seems like YouTube really really likes your channel if you get out at least two videos a week. So I'm always very torn on that. I leave the TV 
so for the next question do I plan on having any more kids or is three my max and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that three is our max my last pregnancy was very hard and I actually ended up going into labor at exactly 36 weeks so I'm taking that as my body telling me no more pregnancies, my body is done, cannot handle it. The doctor said that there was no reason really why I went into labor early, but it was also just a very hard and painful pregnancy pretty much from the late like 20 weeks all the way up until I gave birth. I was just in a ton of pain and there was really no reason or they could not tell me what was going on. And it was also very hard to have a preemie. Luckily, she did not have to spend any time in the NICU, but that was in August. So I had to stay home throughout flu season and then everything, the stay at home order came into play. So there was literally like from August all the way until, you know, I mean, in Arizona, we were able to finally get back to things. A few months ago but I mean we're still pretty limited on what we can do so it was very very hard for me To the next question what is your favorite brand and style of jeans i love american eagle jeans and i either purchase their mom jeans which is what i have on right now in this video or their jeggings and they are definitely my all-time favorite i also like levi's but they have to be a particular style and fit but i just find that american eagle has the best jeans So I literally just cleaned this bathroom, I don't know, a day or two ago, and it is already a disaster in here. I don't know what my kids do in here, but there is always toothpaste everywhere and handprints and footprints on my cabinets. So we are going to be getting this just cleaned up, wiped down. Like I said, I'm not doing too much in here because I did just clean it the other day. So the next question, how did I meet my husband? And just for fun, what is my dream vacation? So we actually met in nursing school. So we have um, been together for almost 10 years. And my dream vacation, honestly, anything that has to do with Disney, we love Disney so much. So anytime we can get over there, stay in one of the Disneyland or Disney World hotels and just going to the park is definitely a awesome vacation that we just love and enjoy and look forward to. And right now, definitely just going to Disneyland would be a dream because we miss it so much. We used to go multiple times a year and we have not been in almost two years at this point. But a vacation maybe without the kids would definitely be something like Bora Bora and staying in one of the huts in the ocean. That is definitely a dream vacation for me. So 
So now that I got this countertop cleaned up, I'm going to be using the Branch Basics bathroom cleaner to clean these countertops and I do really, really love this cleaner. So I always organize Camila's diapers and wipes into this um, like little container right here and I have some blankets in there just so they're super easy to find. If I don't put them in here, then I'm always searching for wipes or diapers. So I am so sad because I've gotten so many compliments on my like bedroom blanket set. But y'all, it is done. The um, It has rips in it. I don't know what happened, but it is done and I have ordered a new one. So I'm hoping that on next Sunday, I will kind of do like a clean and decorate for you guys. I'll probably be doing like a whole house clean and then doing some decorating because I have some stuff that I want to do out in the living room and some stuff that I also want to do in my master bathroom and then also changing out the sheets and the comforter set on my um, bed also. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see that or if you guys are excited to see that video. So now we are moving on to some laundry and y'all know, I just always have so much laundry to do, especially being a family of five. And I feel like we're always constantly changing in and out of outfits, going to the gym and my husband's work uniforms and then my daughter wears uniforms. So here we go. We are going to be starting on this mountain of laundry. But I do. So for my laundry detergent, I'm going to be using this True Earth laundry strips. They're just these little strips and you just throw them in with your clothes. And then I'm going to be using some of this Downy Calm um, fabric softener, which I have been loving this combo together. If you guys would like to check in to more of the laundry detergent, I will make sure to leave my link in the description box below so you guys can check them out. They are an eco-friendly green product, which I have been loving, especially since my daughters do have a little bit of problems with eczema. I always like to use just on their laundry. I will try to use like the um, one that doesn't have any scent in it. And then a lot of the times I will try like not to use any fabric softener on their clothes too. And now we are just going to be putting everybody's clothes into piles because I just find it easiest to start folding when I have everybody's clothes um, put into their own separate little category and then I will fold them and put them away as soon as I'm done with them. If I don't put them away when I am done, then I just will have tons of piles of laundry, y'all. So on to the next question, what is my favorite snack? And since I'm trying to be healthy right now, I have been loving the Chobani flip tops. And personally, the s'mores is my favorite. And then I'm also loving the cookie dough. But when I am not being healthy, I pretty much love anything sweet. I love cookies and cakes and ice cream. I will, yeah, I will have anything sweet.
How do I get this low? You come over and we start a fight Never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now We should talk about with us How come we're holding on? Cause really I don't see the benefits now When you broke my trust So I just wonder so for the next question, did you go to college? If so, what was your major? And I did go to college. I went to nursing school. I have not worked as a nurse in a few years. I have been a stay-at-home mom. I used to work as a school nurse, um, but it was really stressful. Like the school nursing wasn't very stressful, but like working in the nursing field y'all it was very very stressful my husband is actually a nurse and he, i mean he is much better at keeping his stress levels down but i just know that this year or this past year has just been so stressful for our nurses and anybody who is working during this crazy time just especially in any of the medical field like thank you so much guys you guys deserve so much and i am I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you and just anybody who has been working during this crazy time thank you so much guys like you guys are keeping us going and just we are so thankful for you And to the last question, what was the first job that you ever had? And I want you guys to pause this video right now and say maybe what you guys thought my first job ever because I'm going to tell you all, I don't think you guys will guess it, but my first job that I ever had, I worked at McDonald's and I worked there for a while until I moved on to Olive Garden and then I worked at Olive Garden while I went to nursing school and then from Olive Garden, that is when I got my first nursing job and I started as a school nurse. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys feel like you got to know me a little bit better. Sometimes I don't know what to talk about when I'm doing these voiceovers, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here. Bye. But I learned my lesson. Now what if we could move on?